Ladies and gentlemen, one of the least glamorous but most important branches of the Army is the infantry. It is also the most difficult portion of the Army combat to simulate. Dismounted infantry combat is the most difficult to simulate. If you'll step over here with me now, we're going to describe to you how the Army has made significant advances in the past year in virtual simulation of dismounted combat. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sorry, First Class Teddy. The technology you see here today help provide the Army with a more cost-effective playing field, but more importantly, it will help save the lives of our soldiers. The military, industry, and academic institutions continue their research and development program to produce leading-edge technology, which combine the elements of live, instructive, and virtual simulation with a dismounted soldier. This technology represents an evolutionary development and the ability to immerse a live, participants into the synthetic theater of war. The soldier you see on the war link is a team leader conducting military operations in the Republic of Korea. The soldier is able to run, crawl, walk, and kneel, and this technology was not available a year ago. The soldier is carrying the objective individual combat weapon with the over and under configuration. What you see on the screen here is also a soldier in the same fire team. And what you see on the screen is the soldier's view of what's going on. This icon is the, the actual team leader. This soldier can give hand and arm signals. Give a hand and arm signal. As you can see, his arm's moving as, as this soldier's arm moves. Now, Welcome to the Silicon Graphics Impact Report. Brought to you by the Indigo 2 Impact family of desktop workstations. Now, Mary Dills. From movie magic to modern living, from saving money to saving time to even saving lives, the impact of visual computing technology continues to amaze us, delight us, and touch our lives in ways that leap to the edges of our imagination. While some applications are obvious, some are not, as reporter Jonathan Smith found out this week as the U.S. military prepares for the 21st century. A recent headline declares that four more NATO peacekeepers are killed in Bosnia. Upholding the peace in a war-torn environment can be an extremely dangerous situation. How do you adequately prepare your troops for deployment without putting them in harm's way? Clearly, peacetime maneuvers give them a general sense of what to expect. But when your life depends on the accuracy of the tiniest detail, visual computing technology now takes our armed forces to a whole new level of preparedness. Sarcos Research Corporation and the Naval Postgraduate School are helping them get there, as Vice President Peter Kind explains. Here at uh, Sarcos Research Corporation, we have two motion platforms now that are the first linkage of uh, physical exertion and risk uh, decision making on a soldier's part interrelated with virtual reality. For our application, real-time interaction is imperative. We're trying to immerse soldiers into a intense combat environment. The motion platform allows the soldier to feel the terrain. It gets harder as you go uphill while seeing and hearing the sights and sounds of the battle. He makes decisions of risk closer to combat than you can get in any other way. 
At the Naval Postgraduate School, the Department of Defense funds us to focus on visual simulation because it's the safest way to prepare troops for combat situations. And the more realistic and immersive the experience, the more effective. Not only do you get a much better understanding as an individual, but we all get a much better common understanding since all personnel can share in the same simulation. It's just nice to have more than one chance to make the right decision when the stakes are so high. Dramatic computer graphic realism providing a state-of-the-art survival solution. A somewhat eerie level of virtual reality gameplay, perhaps. But faced with the uncertainty of conflict that lies ahead, one worth playing at any price if it means saving a very real life. Jonathan Smith reporting. We hope you enjoyed this edition of the Silicon Graphics Impact Report. We look forward to your feedback. For questions, comments, or more information, call our 800 number. For the newest frontiers in visual computing technology, watch the Silicon Graphics Impact Report. The Indigo 2 Impact, the world's most powerful workstation.